Hi there. We have more at-home tests to show you, this time using a laser pen. The laser pen is placed on the surface less than 14 feet from camera one, our older camera, which has the center of its lens around one eighth of an inch above the surface. Camera two, our newer camera, is set looking at a square tin bucket with the laser light focused on one side. Here is the view of the laser pen from camera one at the start of the test and camera two's view of the laser light on the bucket. The test took place around 7.40 p.m. on December 18th. The outdoor air temperature was approximately 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The indoor air temperature at the surface was showing 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit at the start of the test and from a few feet above the surface was 74 degrees just before opening the door. The door was only opened for about a minute during this first test we'll show you, so the digital thermometers didn't get a chance to update and show us the temperatures during the test. It can take a couple of minutes for them to show a current temperature reading, so after the thermometers did give a reading, just after the test was over, we opened the door back up and waited for another temperature update to get an approximation of what the temperatures may have been during the test. That showed 57 degrees at the surface and 62 degrees from a few feet. Here is the laser pin from camera one's perspective as we open the door. As we often see, the object appears to sink. Here is another look slowed down. Now we'll look at the laser light on the bucket from camera two's perspective. We should expect the light to refract upward, which is what creates the sinking effect from camera one's perspective. Here we open the door. And now we speed up the footage times two. Here we close the door and again speed up the footage. We waited a little over a minute for the air to settle, but even then, the light hadn't settled back to its original position. There was still displacement occurring when we stopped recording the first test. Here is the light at the start of the test again. And now at the end. And here is a look from start to finish with the footage sped up eight times. Finally, we'll leave you with some sped up footage from each camera's perspective of other tests later that night. Thanks for watching!